Good morning. Today is Thursday, May 28th, and we are doing our math where we have been talking about weight and if something is heavier or lighter. And today we're going to talk about using a balance scale, and that is a tool that we use to help us figure out if something is heavier or lighter. Now, I don't have a balance scale here. I have them in our classroom. So I'm going to show you a few different videos of a balance scale, and then we'll do our work together. The first video I'm going to show you is a song about uh, weighing things. We call it weight. Uh, and we'll listen to hear if something is heavier or something's lighter. So I'm going to play that for you first. What's heavier than a lunchbox? What's heavier than a lunchbox? What's heavier than a lunchbox full of lunch? Bricks heavier than a lunchbox. A chair's heavier than a lunchbox. An elephant's heavier than a lunchbox full of lunch. A table's heavier than a lunchbox. A door has is heavier than a lunchbox. Did you like that song? I thought it was pretty fun. So in the song, they're using a balance scale to show what's heavier and lighter. The heavier objects drop to the bottom. The lighter objects pop up. If you balance it and want the objects to be the same, it will be in the middle. And we'll talk a little more about that this week. But for right now, I'm gonna have you watch a video of another teacher who's using a balance scale. Now this teacher has a worksheet paper in front of her that you do not have, and that's okay. So just listen and follow along and watch what she's doing and how she's using that scale to measure weight. So to get started, there's a few things you need. You need a balance scale. You need your objects that you're going to be weighing to see which is heavier and which is lighter. You need your paper and you need a pencil and some crayons. So let's get started. What you get to do is open your bag. Which objects are heavier? So I'm gonna do a glue stick and this bug. Which one? I'm gonna put one object in here and one object over here. Mm, which one's heavier? 
I know that the glue stick is heavier because it went down. So the bug is lighter than the glue stick. See how the scale went down? So I'm gonna take these objects out, put them down and get different objects. And you get to keep trying out all sorts of different objects. I'm gonna do a marker and a, I'm gonna do a couple bears. A couple bears in here, marker over here. Oh, which one is heavier? The marker's heavier. I'm gonna try to make these equal. I'm gonna try to make the marker the same weight. Let's see, I gotta add more weight to this side if I want them to be the same weight. Hmm, what else can I put in here? Maybe a couple more bears. Okay. Look, that was too many bears. Oh. Ooh, see it balancing, trying to be equal? Let's see. There we go. So, one marker weighs the same as four bears. Pretty cool, right? So you get to keep playing and figuring out what is heavier, which is lighter, with all of these different objects that your teacher gave you. When you're done, you're gonna pick your two favorite things you measured. So I like the bug and the glue stick. I'm gonna put those back in there and then I'm gonna draw it. So the bug, stick. So on my recording sheet, it says light and heavy. Which is heavier? So you get to draw your two objects. And I'm gonna put the glue stick over here because the glue stick was heavier than the bug. So now I'm gonna draw my bug. I'm gonna do lots of good details. And it had like a thousand legs, right? And then I'm gonna do my glue stick. Can write glue. And I'm gonna check off that this one is heavier because it is going down on the scale. It weighs more, it's heavier than the bug. So I'm gonna check that off. And then I can go back and I can add some color. I can write my name. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do to be doing, to be learning all of Did you see how she used the scale to find what was heavier and what was lighter? Remember, the heavier things went to the bottom and the lighter side went up. So I wish that we all had scales to use today, but we don't right now. So we're just gonna do our worksheet together looking at the scale and we're gonna take some guesses as to what could be heavier and what could be lighter than what's on our worksheet. So go ahead and get your math paper pulled up. And it says, draw something inside the box that is heavier than the object on the balance. So we're gonna go ahead and look at our first one right here. And it looks like it's a feather. So what is something that's heavier than a feather? What's something that's heavier than a feather? Well, thinking back to the video we just watched this morning, I'm gonna say a lunchbox. Yes, a lunchbox is heavier than a feather now. You can make your pictures look a lot nicer than mine. I'm gonna write lunch box. And like I said, you can do a much better drawing than Mrs. Tattlebaum. But a lunch box would be heavier than the feather. So if you were to put two of those on a scale, the lunch box would fall right down and the feather goes up. This is measuring weight. Next, let's look over here. Draw something inside the box that is heavier than an apple. What is heavier than an apple? Lots of things are heavier than an apple. I'm gonna be silly and draw an elephant because elephants would be much heavier than an apple. You know, elephants are very big. Let's 
I'm going to label him. Well, what else? Let's see. So these are all things that would be heavier. The lunchbox is heavier than a feather. An elephant is heavier than an apple. Could I really put an elephant on a tiny little scale? No, it's so big, it would need a big scale to weigh it. Let's look at the bottom. Draw something lighter than the object on the balance. Ooh, lighter. So we don't want to tip the scale anymore. So something that would be lighter than a pumpkin. Lighter than a pumpkin. I'm going to draw a crayon. A crayon would be much lighter than a pumpkin. And like I said, you don't have to. You don't have to. That was my cat, Franklin. You don't have to do the same thing that I'm drawing. You can draw your own thing. But if you want to draw the crayon, go ahead, because a crayon would be much lighter than a pumpkin. And one more. What's something lighter than a tennis ball? Lighter than a tennis ball. So if we had a scale, you wouldn't want to tip it so that it goes down. You want to keep it up. Lighter than a tennis ball. I'm going to draw a rubber band. A rubber band would be much lighter than a tennis ball. I'm going to label it rubber band. And that's it. That's all you have to do today. So I know we don't have scales and we can't do it ourselves, which would be really fun. Maybe next year we can do that. But I hope that you enjoyed the videos and we will work more with our scales and our math tomorrow. Bye.